We moved over to the Amaris platform from Schwind in 2012 at Moorfields, and we were attracted to it uh, by some technical advantages, particularly ablation speed, tracking accuracy, and auto calibration. And indeed, the whole approach of the Schwind company, which is towards driving innovation, and we wanted to engage with that. One of the particular advantages they bought is effective trans-epithelial treatments. And uh, the thing that's different about the Schwinn platform, as opposed to other trans-epithelial platforms, is they've customized the thickness of epithelial removal. I'm just going to step back one step and say that what trans-epithelial treatments are is, uh, in one single take, the excimer laser removes the epithelium and then does the refractive or therapeutic ablation. With trans-epithelial ablation, it's all done in one sweep by the laser. And the advantage of the Amara system is it takes population mean figures. So clear advantages technically, and it helps the patients in terms of a precise removal of the epithelium. You're removing the precise diameter of the ablation area. And uh, that means that you're minimizing the amount of epithelium you're removing and therefore you're maximizing the speed of recovery for the patient. The advantage of surface laser treatments, well, they're, they're, certainly they avoid the interface complications associated with those techniques, but they really come into their own when you come to therapeutic treatments because the epithelium is the best masking agent known to man and it fills in the little uh, the, the troughs in the corneal surface and smooths over the peaks when you've got an irregular cornea. And when you're trying to smooth that out and you've mapped that regularity on the corneal surface, what you don't want to do then is remove the epithelium or start by doing that. A trans epithelial treatment gives you a much more, much closer fidelity to what you're reading on the topographer in terms of the surface shape and therefore a more accurate reproduction afterwards. So we certainly like to do trans epithelial treatments whenever we can and another nice thing about the Amaris laser as a platform is it has a very flexible approach to treatment programming. You can do either a, a topography guided treatment or a wavefront guided treatment to customize to correct an irregular corneal surface. And at Moorfields we see a lot of patients who've had previous surgery done or increasingly we're working on the early keratoconus cases combining trans epithelial treatments with cross-linking and this is very exciting for us at the moment. So I'm just going to finish by saying a word on technique uh, and it couldn't be simpler and uh, from the patient's point of view it's attractive because it's a no-touch quick procedure. From the doctor's point of view it's attractive because it's a no-touch quick procedure as well. It's simple to do and uh, the key technical tip really is to preserve a smooth tear interface at the point you start the ablation. It's a kind of minimalist approach if you like and as I say the patients like it because uh, it's quick and easy for them to do, very easy for them to go through and although the recovery period, sure, there's some pain associated with it, the nice thing about a trans epithelial treatment is it truncates the time in which patients are uncomfortable afterwards.